diagnosed with diabetes or pre-diabetes or having a family member who is a diabetic, please note that this is not a certainty for life that you remain a diabetic because science has come a long, long way and organizations like Freedom from Diabetes have conclusively proven that you can reverse diabetes, you can become free of medications and live a wonderful life ahead. So one example which I want to give you right away is the example of a switch being put on and being put off. And that's how exactly your genes are related to diabetes. They can be put on if you're following wrong diet, exercise and having a lot of stress. And the same diabetic gene can be put off also if you do the right things. But for that, you need to understand the causes first. We need to go deep into the causes and deep into the solutions. And this is something that can give you freedom from diabetes. Did you know that diabetes is actually a symptom of a deeper condition underneath it, which is insulin resistance? Insulin resistance is the real villain, not diabetes, because it is insulin resistance which brings about not only diabetes, but also high blood pressure, high cholesterol, PCOD, heart attack, stroke and many other ailments. So if you need to really work on diabetes, understand that it's not diabetes that is causing these diseases, it's insulin resistance causing these diseases. So let us get into insulin resistance. Insulin resistance in very simple language is your body's inability to utilize the insulin whose job is to get the glucose out of the blood into the cells. So the cells are actually become resistant to the action of insulin. And one of the main causes for insulin resistance is excess fat inside your muscle cells. Your muscles are a big storehouse of glucose. Almost 80% of your body glucose is stored inside the muscle. And in case inside the muscles which is called intramyocellular lipid quite a mouthful but actually basically the fat inside muscle cells if it increases then it's going to act like a chewing gum from inside and not going to let insulin open up the receptors the locks which will help the glucose to go into the muscle cells which is the main storehouse and thereby increasing the blood glucose so what should you do to get into the reversal mode with respect to diabetes? First and foremost is to do the right test. And within the right test, the first and the most simplest test is to measure your waist below your navel. Just below your navel, two inches below, measure your waist with the help of a measuring tape and ensure that your waist is less than half of your height. That's the first basic test. If your waist is more than half of your height, that itself is going to tell you that there is excess fat in your body, not only on the waist, but also inside the muscles. And that is where the real problem is. Get your waist measured, divide that number with your height and see if it's less than half. This is extremely important. Besides this, with respect to your blood, you should do two very important tests. One is fasting insulin test. And fasting insulin should be between 2.6 to 6. I repeat, fasting insulin between 2.6 to 6 because that will give you an idea of how much resistance is there. If insulin is more than 6, it means that you are resistant to insulin you are secreting more insulin. Besides fasting insulin test, you should take up the HSCRP test. Highly sensitive C, reactive protein, HSCRP. Big word but important test. Ensure that number is below 3. 
if possible below 1 next make some strategic changes in your diet and diet is a very big topic so i'm just going to give you a few important pointers the first and the foremost important pointer in your diet is to reduce the grain consumption the wheat the rice the jowar and bajra consumption needs to be reduced a bit and the best way to do that is to have a 25 percent formula which means whenever you're having your lunch and dinner if you take one chapati or one fulka have one katori dal one katori cooked vegetable and one katori salad okay if you want to have the second chapati then you must take the second katori salad second katori cooked vegetable and second katori dal this way if you maintain balance between all the four portions your grain consumption will, will become less and that will help you to control your sugar and also your fat needless to say avoid any kind of maida or refined sugar uh, and you know anything which raises your sugars very very fast that's an obvious takeaway and increase your greens and beans i repeat greens and beans greens and beans need to be increased and also some nuts and seeds nuts and seeds nuts and seeds around 8 to 10 almonds or walnuts soaked for at least 4 or 5 hours with the skin removed and the seeds at least 3 or 4 teaspoons of flax seeds sesame seeds chia seeds sunflower musk melon watermelon pumpkin all kinds of seeds are available please have them in your diet to make it mineral rich fiber rich vitamin rich and more important to alkaline your body third do those exercises which give you maximum results and for maximum results in the beginning what you need to do is get your spine to move many diabetics just walk for 45 minutes which does move their legs but doesn't move the spine so to move the spine one of the best things to do is to start doing chair surya namaskars or normal surya namaskars whatever is possible for you because as you do surya namaskars you bend your spine forward and backward almost six times in one surya namaskar you would have squeezed a lot of stuck up blood which is there in your trunk and your hips which is extremely important for you to reduce toxicity inside the body along with this you can add some asanas and many asanas have become famous for diabetics like ardhamachindrasan padhastasan balasan mandukasan paschimottanasan try and do these asana practices which will give a good mobilization to your spine and also squeeze your pancreas and along with yoga ensure that you do some anti-gravity work because when you actually go against the gravity you go up steps you come down steps you do a great favor for your body because the cells start pulling glucose into them even without insulin that's the power of anti-gravity if you work against gravity your cells will start soaking in the glucose even without insulin or with less insulin so one hour 45 minutes or around two hours after every meal try and do five ten minutes of ten steps up and down up and down up and down and some nitric oxide dump also with that which is a beautiful exercise for the upper body nitric oxide dump you do this way and you do do this way and you do this way it's a very nice exercise so do this in the initial stages and later on start getting deeper into strength training and stamina building these two are going to give you sustainability strength training can be started by simple planks or push-ups or simple squats which is just kind of going up and down or ganesh namaskaras okay which are very very useful to activate a large muscle group and slowly buying 5 kg 10 kg dumbbells at home because gyms are not really active for a while is very good to just start building that upper body and you know lower body with the weights along with the weights also once or twice a week do some stamina building cycling is great walk jog is wonderful and if you can swim 
even better. So whatever suits you, because we find there are different personalities for which different exercise likings they have. So whatever you've done before in your life, try to build on that and actually start finding out what is it that you enjoy the most because what you enjoy the most, you will do the most. Next very important thing which may come as a surprise for many of you is to drink only the right amount of water, not too much water because too much water in diabetics gets accumulated in the body. It's called clara in Ayurveda and actually creates more damage in the body than benefit. Of course, water is a most important drink that we need to have because it helps to synthesize the nutrients, it aids digestion, waste elimination, temperature control. So there are a lot of benefits of water, but too much of water, be careful of that. As a diabetic, try to keep your water intake to one glass for every 10 kg body weight or little less. I repeat, every 10 kg body weight, one glass of water is more than enough. And if you're doing more workouts, then during the workout, after the workout, ensure you have enough water to keep your temperature regulated. Along with water, if possible, once a month, try vegetable juices, maybe four glasses or eight glasses or 10 glasses during the day, and they will give you crystallized water, which will give a very different level of hydration to your body. Last, but according to me, the most important point that you need to work upon is your mind, your heart, your emotions, your stress, your positivity and your habits. So if there are things in your life which are constantly giving you irritation, frustration, anxiety, grief, sadness, engage into specific meditations which can actually uproot or work or help you release these emotions because these emotions, these stressful feelings create a lot of inflammation and that inflammation itself creates insulin resistance. So work on releasing stress, point number one, within working on the mind. Point number two, work on building positivity, set up big goals, start visualizing them, start feeling as if they're happening and you will start actualizing them. In fact, for 12 Sundays, every uh, Sunday, uh, we make people undergo the goal achievement meditation in Hindi and English, those who join the one year program. And that itself creates such positive changes in their ability to manifest their goals. Because the positive mindset is what's going to help you create your habits, your repetitive patterns of behavior which is going to make you follow your diet or exercise or not let you follow your diet and exercise. So one of the biggest enemy of reversal we find is lethargy, is laziness or lack of motivation or discipline or lacking energy to follow things and this can best be tackled not alone but by being in touch with a program, with a group, with your people who are working like you, with mentors, with monitors, with doctors, with diet experts, with exercise experts, with psychologists, all connected through the intensive reversal program. And through that, we've been able to get 10,000 diabetics free of medications. And we're looking forward to 100,000 people becoming free. So interested? in deeper diabetes reversal and not only diabetes, obesity, cholesterol, high BP, PCOD, heart issues, stroke issues, preventing them and whatever damage has happened to reduce them, eliminate them, reverse them, do go to freedomfromdiabetes.org and explore our intensive reversal program which will give you great insights and great energy for a year long process by which you can actually go ahead and reverse.